Hey everybody, it's Alicia. I don't know why this thing is uh, trying to make it straight here. Again, I forgot my uh, tripod. Welcome to the vlog. So we're painting today. I'm going to be doing um, black canvas again and I'll be doing another canvas later. So I have some pre-made paints here. Hopefully I have everything. I may need to grab some water. But besides that, I'm gonna um, paint some different colors on here. So I have this magenta. I got a gold. Like this is, I don't even know what kind of gold this is. Hello. Um, hmm, I need a spoon, hold on. Give me a segundo. I think it's really important to kind of stay in the same paint if you're working with a paint company because it helps to allow your paint to flow. This is nice. So I'm gonna go with this gold. It's kind of like, I don't know, what color is this, Michelle? Antique gold, I guess? What do you call this? Bronze? That's really pretty. Gold, oh yeah, bronzy gold. Like a bronzy gold kind of color. That's really pretty. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do some of the I don't know what this is. It's very important to mix your paints beforehand. That is for dang sure. Here's a spoon. Hold on. Yeah, that's holding up my camera. <laughs> Can't use that one. A brown bunch of spoons. So I got this spoon over here. It's always important to make sure that your paint is ugh, the right consistency. And this is not the right consistency, so we're not using this one. Okay, that's a no. Let's see. Let's see if I got white over here. This white. That looks good. So, yeah, this looks good. So this white looks really good. So I'm going to put some white on there. All right. And then I have some purple over here. I'm going to use that. How's everybody today? Happy Ash Wednesday. I went and got my ashes, see? I'm a good Catholic girl. Careful. What do you need? That one? Yeah, take, grab that one. I don't know. You want this one here? No. I don't know. Look at this tiny, tiny. This is a tiny, tiny. This is as tiny, tiny as you're going to get. What else do you need? Oh, I'm looking at the thing right there. Oh, you... <laughs> that's my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I, know oh, I didn't yeah. see your camera there. Oh my God, that's why I was like... Oh, Don't sorry. mess with my camera. I'm it's sorry. okay. It's okay, Michelle. I was so focused on the brush. She was so laser focused on the brush. She wasn't looking. I'm so sorry. Wait, when I'm here, so I'm gonna oh, turn God. this off. It's okay. Oh, no. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it just makes it exciting. Sorry, it makes it my, exciting. It's okay. So I'm gonna work with three colors today. I'm gonna do purple, white, and gold. That's gonna be my. Cause today is Lent. So it's that darkness time, that time of like contemplation. And purple is a big part of Lent. So I'm going to go with these three colors and we'll see what comes up. So I've got this super bronzy gold. And then I'm gonna go with some white and some purple. And what's this? That's nothing. <laughs> I dried out. That is nothing. All right, so got, I'm gonna do, some white, not too much. It's one thing you gotta watch is you gotta find that, that perfect combination of not too much paint, not too little paint, and always keep a wet paper towel next to you so that you're able to wipe it off. So I'm gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna end with white and then some gold. <coughs> God bless you. Bless. All right, I'm gonna do some white. And then some gold. So we started, this is all Artist Loft paint that I'm using today. Um, I did buy Annie's yesterday, but I don't have it mixed. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy on that, so. And then I'll do some here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of, I don't know, I'm being, I'm gonna do some dots. Okay, there we go, we got dots. And then I'm gonna follow up with, with some black. It's so, okay, Robert, stay stern, how are you? I'll give it some top coat here. And then you flood it with the black. Come on. Oh, that looks thick. Got a lot of paint going on here. 
it's so weird sometimes when I'm doing these flows, Michelle. Like the paint kind of just like glides on its own. It's very weird. So I'll leave some there, not too much, not too little. I want to get my handy dandy blow dryer, which is over here. I'm going to untangle it. So give me a second because I wrapped it up real, real well. I almost said real good. <laughs> Speaking proper English on this video, dang it. I will not have any improper English on my video. So my husband very kindly filled for me the other day. I was so excited to have my blowtorch back again because it wasn't working properly because I was afraid to press the dang thing down. Because it was just, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it feels like it's going to get all over the place, but you have to kind of like press it down really hard to get it in there. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do that. And then it gets all weird. Oh my gosh, we're doing wedding because Kaylee's getting married. Kaylee's getting married. <laughs> Oh, that is gorgeous. All right, I'm going to not, let's not play with this. This is very beautiful, but I'm going to take my straw and do some, some puffing and puffing. Let's see. I got my straw. I'm going to do a little creative lace work. That's right, Gus is gonna be at the wedding. I get to see. I get to see him. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gus. Yeah. He'll be a married man. Okay. Sorry, guys. Got a phone call. My apologies. I'll call him back later. Probably call me back again. Oh, so it's Nathan. I'll call him back. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty, Michelle. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, I ex I excited. I am excited. This is gorgeous. Wow! 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 Okay. So. So pretty. That's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna get my gloves on. I'm gonna stretch it just a baby bit. Just because that is just so pretty. Who else is on here? Brianna Davies. I love it. Are you still in school, Brianna? I saw Mr. Long today. I introduced him to Bella. <laughs> she was like, I don't know if I'm going to this school or not. I'm like, oh, yeah, you are. We'll see. We shall see. I bet Gaya, she thinks she might be going to Bowtie. Okay, so we got the gloves on. So we're just gonna 
stretch it just a little baby bit and see if we can get some flow into here. There, that's pretty. Very pretty. And let's just stretch it back and see what happens over this way. Yeah, I'm not going to go too much. This is just too pretty. I think I just might leave that negative space. And, uh, yeah, let me put it down properly. One thing that you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to be careful with is um, not tilting it too much, number one. And number two, making sure it's down on a equal, like, like a level surface. Make sure it's not too, it's not going to fall like this is happening now. So I'm trying to just find the right spot for it so that it doesn't shift. So, so let's see if I could, there's like this weird eye. And sometimes also you have to know that the paint is never going to, um, it's always going to look a little different. It kind of shifts itself for a little bit. So I'm just going to take my blowtorch and have at it for a little bit. See if I can get some cells to pop. This paint, the Artist Loft paint, is very pretty, but it's not very open to creating cells as much as some of the other paints are, are, are usually, like Anita's paint really does. Um, it's got some cells in here, it's not a lot. It's a little bit, as I'm kind of going over it, they are, the color is popping out, and um, some cells are beginning to form. This is really pretty. So we've got a little action going on. I just want to check the status of my... I have little thumbtacks on the bottom. what happens. I think when I was blowing a piece of saliva may have escaped. I'm, just, I'm spitting on my painting. Awful. Horrible. I didn't even think about that. That's something that I needed to be careful of. Who the heck knew? I think that's what happened. I think so. Yeah, there was moisture in there. Okay, gotta be careful. <laughs> Pay extra for the spit. Yeah, five dollars extra. <laughs> you physically have my DNA in the painting. <laughs> it costs more. But the funny thing is that the water, um, it actually made cells because it's water. What is your secret ingredient? <laughs> Don't let on. Tui. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I spit on my paintings. That's why it looks so good. <laughs> I spit on you painting. My secret trick. Jeez. So bizarre. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can put my gloves back on and see if I can stretch it a little this way. I want it to kind of go over the edge, but I don't, I don't know. It's not really. Eh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Okay, no. This side's a little paint, a little bit more paint heavy. This side, so it's really pretty. It's coming out gorgeous. Just gotta get this paint off. The black paint's a little bit of a nuisance to work with since it gets all over everything, and it's just so black. Um. Okay, so let's see. Give it a little bit more fire. See if it gets more cell action in here. And you can see some things coming out. But just overall, the color is beautiful. And um, generally speaking, I really like it. It's very, very pretty. Let me blow it out a little bit up here. See that spit action. 
action happening. Did you give this to Kaylee as one of the songs you wanted her to play? I think so. This is Pachelbel. Yeah. Look at that. See, does the wedding singer know her songs or what? I have four. Trumpet voluntary. That's four suggestions, and I don't know that she's given the choral yet, so I have to. Does he care? He's very into music, Carl. Is he? Yes. All right, so this is my painting. I'm just gonna let it go. All right, guys, uh, who's talking to me? David Serino. Aw. All of a sudden, Michelle Jones. Hey, Michelle, sorry my sorry my, my uh, phone is crooked. My son tried to call me in the middle of it, but I'll show you guys the picture. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Michelle Jones is watching. I'm watching you, I'm like it. Hey, Maria. Let's see. I love watching the master. Oh, you're so sweet. David, you're so sweet. You're, you're such a flatterer. Okay, let's see. So here we go. Here is the painting. It's very pretty. I'm going to turn this. It's a little bit glary. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> there it is, kind of, sort of. Now, I will try to move it over here into the other into the sunlight so you can see it a little bit better. Just hold on. Just come with me. There is no sunlight today. I know there really isn't any sunlight over here in New Jersey. It's really dreary on this Ash Wednesday. So this will give you a little bit better. A little. All right, I lied. Lord of mercy. You can see it. It's very pretty. So you guys keep getting glare. It's ama amazing. I mean, the paintings kind of have a life of their own. Um... They really do, and they kind of just, I don't know, can you tag me in your first video so I can learn how to do this? This is my, oh, my very first video? Um, you can watch this video and learn pretty much how to do it. Uh, my first video? I'll look for it, sure. No problem. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's kind of like spirit painting, because if you look at this one, here's here are some from last week. So this one, I just found this one so fascinating, Michelle. Let's see if I could show you, it's not too glary. I see a man in this one, right here. A man's shoulder, or the side of his head and an ear. And then it looks like, see the man's ear and the man's arm. And it almost looks like there's a face here. I don't know why it's not so fuzzy. annoying how glary it is hello i can see two people right isn't that so cool and then this one this one's really neat because it's got a lot of gold in it and it's really pretty but you have to hold it a certain way to kind of appreciate it it almost looks like there's a, like somebody in the background in the shadows so it's really neat when you when you you can sit here looking the gold is a face over on the right or the left michelle this is another Michelle. Um, I see here. Hold on, let me. Oh, let me. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's looking away from things. It's burning him in the shoulder. Oh my gosh, which one? The other one or this one? In that golden red painting. Right? Right? Am I telling you not? Like, isn't it incredible, Michelle? It's, it's like intuitive painting on the right. It's so cool. I mean, it's just, it's just. So neat. So I have my first angelic realm painting tomorrow and I'm going to be pulling an angel card and we're going to be doing the painting tomorrow at um, Holistic Harmony in Bloomingdale. Tomorrow at 12, we're going to be providing lunch. I'm going to be helping you to create the painting and then um, you're going to go home. Well, you might not go home with the painting because it needs to be still. Like I keep them here, like right over there. I, I have a little spot in my... Um, best friend's house and I just you know leave it here for the week and then we come back and I see what they look like so this is on the right so on the right of this painting yeah I see a person there I see a person like standing in the shadows it's just wild I mean it's you can st sit here staring at everything and it also almost looks like someone's counseling someone on the left see the person's back and the head and it's weird I can see things differently through my 
video lens than I can looking at the picture itself sometimes. It's crazy. It's like almost like a magnifying glass where I can see things. It's just incredible. You can just keep looking and looking. It almost looks like this is a pathway, this right here. This is like a corridor, right, Michelle? I see a wolf in this painting, really? Where do you see a wolf, babe? I wish you could like get on here and circle it. I should just let you, can I, can I get you on here? Hold on, can I add you? I think I can. Give me a sec, let's see. Two, let's see, Michelle. Michelle Jones. Okay, I just invited you. If you wanna hop on, you can tell me what you see in these paintings. That's really cool. The left of the, bl the left blue and white. The left blue and white. It's like psychology picture. It is, it totally <laughs> is, right? You see I can't get on because I'm with a critical patient. Oh, bummer, Michelle. Okay, well thank you for telling, giving me your input. Yeah, I'll tag you on the first one. Do you want me to tag you on this one or my very first one? I think my very first one I talked a lot about what I did. Now, you know, from the first one though, Michelle, I'll be totally honest with you. I went to Hobby Lobby. I got, and I'll come back on again or I'll be on Instagram later. I'm going to do one for Instagram. I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these paints. Okay, I like I like painting with, with metallics and you can see why. If you use flat white and metallics, it comes out really cool. This is a flat purple and flat black and flat white with gold. So I just layered it and then it came out like this. And then I blew on it with a straw. But if you use this and water, um, it, it comes out beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing one with this paint today. Um, this one is rose gold. I have no idea which colors I'm gonna be using. It'll come to me. I'm just trying to finish, tag me on whichever one will teach me how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. So these, this is going to finish my black series. I have white on the left-hand side of my dining room wall. I'm going to do black on on the right. So I'm going to have the the white paintings on the left and the right, the black paintings on the on. I'm sorry, the black paintings on the right, the white paintings on the left, and so that I have that have the two series going on. So, and then I made these babies. You're going to love this, Michelle. Look at these babies. These are the red babies. So what I do a lot of times, if I have a lot of extra leftover paint, I take small canvases and I make little babies. And it's just so nice. These are more swipes. So what I do with the extra paint when there's a lot of it is I dip it in and I tap, tap on the back and then lift it up. And this is what comes from this one. I really like this one. Thank you. And then this one too. And some of them I did pour on because I, I hate wasting paint. I just can't take it. And this one I like because it looks like a like a rose or something. It's really pretty. There's not as much like, oh my gosh, I see a horse. I see a, you know, these you can a little, but the bigger ones have more, lend more to it. They're like the babies that go with the red. So this was my red, gold, and black. That was my blue and black. And then this one's my uh, gold, purple, and white. It's kind of like a bronzy gold. And then what, what I do is I use, um, a, hey, hey, Father Jim, how are you? I use a straw to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And, you know, that's about it. So, yep. I see all types of things in your paintings. I know, me too. This one's kind of hard to see now because it's glossy. But I can stare at them all day and tell you, oh, look, there's a blah, 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 and there's a blah, blah, blah. And they kind of have a... A life of their own they really do so I use a lot of spoons um, get these from the dollar store get these from the dollar look at look at my supplies I mean if I'm like obsessive or what they tell the story of a path in life you can put them in an order oh wow wow you're incredible Michelle I just love your intuitiveness I just love it girl um, so yeah, so these are all my supplies. I got these from the dollar store. These were 50 cents each. These you need, you need paint to paint. To, so I what I do is I paint, I mean, take the canvas and I tape it in the back. And then I have these gigantic, um, I either, I either use, I use a lot of spoons, cups. I reuse them. I wash them. I use these shot glasses sometimes to hold up the painting if I don't have thumbtacks. Um, I have a lot of these bottles here that I mix the paint with. Send me a list of things I need. I'm going to the store today. I know. Isn't it crazy? Oh, my gosh. If you don't mind using a little bit more extra extra money, I would go to Hobby Lobby and, 
if you want to, you know, I'm going to let you know how the Annie's work. As far as I know, Annie's was really, these both can be purchased at Annie, at Lobby, Hobby Lobby. These were like three bucks. And I think, and these are 2.5 ounces. These are two fluid ounces and these are $1.49. I would start with these because then you could just play and it's not like you used up all your money. Um, I do have, you know, plastic spoons you probably have around the house, cups. These are great. Like these little ones are great for leftover paint if you want to store it. Um, you definitely need a, but you need a butane torch. See like up there, I've got the, the red one. I got that at Walmart. Um, I got a bottle of butane fuel so you can light it up. It makes cells. It depends on what kind of paint. Like this, the the Hobby Lobby has, I think, better paint than the Artist Loft. The Artist Loft paint isn't bad, but it does a lot more. Like, see the cell work over here? I think I probably may have put more water in my paint. Hey, Debbie, you're excited? Oh, Debbie's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm so excited. Are you, com are you so excited, Debbie, to paint? We're going to have so much fun tomorrow. Debbie is going to be at my art class. So excited for you. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to be said about these paintings. I'm very, very happy with them. So I will send you, I'll have to make up a list. Dear Lord, I should make a blog post then. Yep, so working on this. And um, I'm so excited about tomorrow. So tomorrow is our first art class. It's lunch and you get to walk away with a painting. It's 65 for the class. Um, there's going to be intuitive reading with it. It's, it's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. You're going to be so happy that you're there, Debbie. All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. Let me just say a quick goodbye. Bye. Oh, Michelle's in the right. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>